how prevalent is bipolar disorder? We, we hear a lot about depression, and my understanding is in America, a huge number of people are on medications for depression. Can you speak about depression versus bipolar disorder, how common these things are? Yeah, I think that's a very good question. Depression, when it's only depression, we call unipolar depression. And as you say, this is a common disorder, perhaps 10 or 20 percent of the population in almost every culture that's been studied will have an episode of depression during their lifetime, lasting enough to interfere with their life. But only about 1 or 2 percent of the population will have a bipolar disorder. And bipolar disorder tends to have an earlier age of onset than people who've only had depression. Often there are people in the family who've also had bipolar disorder, and the treatment is very different. So tell our viewers um, what causes bipolar. Is this a purely genetic thing? Are there environmental influences? Are there family history issues that are relevant that people should know about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's very important. And uh, many people who have relatives uh, with bipolar disorder think about that question a lot. Uh, certainly having a first degree relative with bipolar disorder increases your risk for bipolar disorder. So many things have a heritable component both the good things in life, a, uh, our abilities, our mechanical abilities, our musical abilities, and also the risk factors for illnesses. Many of these have partly a genetic component. So we like to say the genes account for about 50% of the risk for bipolar disorder, but we haven't found any of those genes yet, certainly not in a way that can be useful in a diagnosis. It seems that there are many, many genes that can increase or decrease our risk. There is no blood test for bipolar disorder predisposition today. There is no prenatal diagnosis, and, uh, uh, but we're certain the genes are there because of the studies of twins. But uh, we haven't really identified any of them in a way that can be useful for a treating doctor. So, um, so if I understand you correctly then, from studying twins, we know that there is a genetic component to it, but so far we haven't figured out where those genes are located. Exactly, exactly. Or how they interact, because there are so many different genes involved. And then about 50%, the remaining 50% of the causes are not genetic, and we really don't know what they are. Some may relate to drug abuse. And it's good if you have a family member with bipolar disorder to stay away from most of the drugs of abuse today because they can increase the risk. Sometimes medical problems like use of corticosteroids, use of steroid medications for asthma or rheumatoid arthritis, can trigger a manic episode or a depression or a bipolar disorder in someone who might have a family history of bipolar disorder. So it's important to tell your doctor if you have someone in the family with bipolar disorder.